So we're now going to go through the play bow exercise, which we call bend, to keep it a separate word. Um, for the play bow exercise, again, there are a couple of ways of teaching. I'm going to show you the most common way of doing this, which is um, guiding the dog into the position, but I'll also show you an alternative way of doing this. What we're going to do is we're going to use the treat and we're going to use a modelling version. So we're going to use the treat to actually almost, um, almost push the dog gently into the position. So he's actually going to reverse backwards into a position downwards. We want to also be very clear on what guide words we're going to use, what cue words. So I'm not going to use the word dow, um, bow, I'm actually going to use the word bend. And the reason why I'm going to use the word bend is because it's a very similar position to the down exercise. So if I use the word bow, it sounds like down, and I don't want to confuse my dog. Okay, so I'm, we're going to use the word bend because that sounds very different, and that should help keep Merlin very clear on the two exercises being very different. All right, so all we're going to do is we're going to start with our treat, and he's quite quite new to this one. We're going to keep it on his nose, and we're just going to very very gently, very slowly, we're having the treat in here, just under our thumb, nice and slowly pushing it from the nose towards the chest. <laughs> bend, good boy, downwards and we've got that beautiful position here we're going to treat, what a clever boy that's very lovely what a good boy, once we're in that position so we don't want to keep him too long we don't want to push him into it we're not going to push his back or his shoulders because that's putting pressure there we're just going to very very gently guide him downwards and backwards at the same time pop your bum up darling there's a good boy stand, good boy so now we've got a down, so we're not going to reward that. We're going to go backwards, bend. Good boy, that's the position we're after with that bum in the air. What a clever boy. Now, if you do find that your dog keeps going into a down position, there is an extra method that we can put into place, and that would simply be bringing your hand just under the body here. Not so nice, so nice with the male, of course, but we can bring the hand under the body, and while we are also bringing the treat onto the nose, by having the hand here, you can just gently keep the bum in the air at the same time. Okay, so we did click, it was a silent click, but we did click. We're treating while they're in position, and that just helps guide the bum in the air. Okay, so if we show you that one again, come round. There's my man, and bend. Good boy. That's very nice. What a good boy. And by guiding a couple of times, that should help him. Learn him bend keep the bum in the air after a couple of those. Good man, that's lovely. What a clever boy. Okay.